morning, Master Gunners. I'm out along Winter's Run on a sunny, hot afternoon, and I found some interesting plants. You know it's blueberry season. Have any of you been out picking blueberries? Did you know that they're native to our woodlands? And come to find out, I looked up in this brown and brown book that there's many different species, so I didn't even begin to try to identify this guy. But let me show you, here's some blueberries, and we even got some blueberries on it. Look up close here. Let me turn my book over, and you can see. Let me get, see, let me lay them in the sun a little. Move them in the sun. Can you see those blueberries on there? Wow, pretty nifty. Little green ones, still green, not mature yet. I would venture to say this is probably a high bush blueberry. That's most likely the species that th their species this is. But come to find out in the brown and brown, there's like five or six different vicinniums that we have in the state of Maryland. One of the reasons that you never will find these blueberries and you'll never be picking them probably in Maryland in the native woods is look at all this dead material up in it. They always die back because the deer browse them so intensely that they never have a chance to get more than 12 to 15 feet tall. I mean 12 to never get a chance to get about six feet tall. That's what they're typically going to grow to at the very max. Sometimes you'll see them get tall enough to get above. If it's a high bush blueberry, it'll get above the browse line where the deer can reach it. But oftentimes, as long as it's down in this two foot range, they're nailing them. As you can see, these are little young ones that have all rejuvenated all over here. There are different ones, little small ones all around. And look back here. Here's another one back here. And I'm among, here's one growing up it's growing up among this woody stem. Now this woody stem is not it. This old woody stem, these are mountain laurels that are up behind me. So this is a very acid habitat. We're on a steep slope with mountain laurels. We've got beech trees everywhere all around us. We've got a big old oak tree over here. This is a large uh, chestnut oak. We've got a big American beech making all of this a very, very acid habitat. So very unique. The beautiful moss is another indication that you've got a very acid habitat. Once you figure out and learn these habitat principles, then you'll be able to find these little blueberries. They're really hard to find because they have a nondescript leaf. They're kind of wiry stems. The leaf has no veins, I mean, no margin, no teeth out on the margin or anything. Just a very simple and green stems when they're young, but really a pretty hard plant to identify except for that wiry, scraggly branching method that they're all using. So there you go. I hope you knew that we had some blueberries. We usually think of them native more up to the New Jersey area, but we have them all commonly found through the Maryland woodlands. So I want you to get out, go hike down. They like a little moist area, but they will be on slopes and things. But I want you to go look for your own blueberries. Have some fun out on the hiking. Hope you hear some birds like we're hearing today.